guys, welcome back, and today I'm reviewing this guy. It's a 12.9 inches 2017 iPad Pro. We're going to do a long-term review. So let's talk about the design for a little bit. And guys, like this iPad is really huge. Just look at it. And guys, like it has like a nice body. It's, we, there's a lot of different colors, but we choose space gray. And it has touch ID, home button, second generation. It's gonna load quicker. And, um, and it also has two cameras, one in the back and one in the front. The best thing about this is that it has four speakers. Look, two on this side, and if you flip it, two on this side. We have the volume switches over here. We have the power on and off switch slash sleep. We also have the headphone jack. Not all of the iPads have the headphone jack. And we have the charging port over here. And most important, we also have the smart connector. You can hook up extra accessories to it. Let's quickly go into the specifications. This iPad has a A10X Fusion chip and it has 2.38 gigahertz and speed, six core CPU. According to Apple, it's 30% faster than the previous iPad and it's 40% faster graphics. This iPad has 4 gigabytes of RAM and also has 12 megapixel back facing camera and in the front it has 7 megapixels. So you could do like selfie, you could do um, FaceTime in HD. The display is a true tone display with P3 wide color gamma, which means that it has a lot of more colors than the previous generation. And it has 120 megahertz refresh rates, which also means that everything is going to be more smoother. So as I said before, my, the fav my favorite part about this iPad is the v volume and the speakers because it's very loud and the audio is going to improve the sound and like it, when you're watching a movie, it's going to be very loud and with the bass. Since this iPad is almost as 2.4 gigahertz, it can do a lot of stuff. So I'm going to go on my channel. Okay, there. Then I go on one of my videos. And then you get this. And then drag it. And also it records sounds as well. And then you can make it go like in half or in a quarter. It's like very cool. And then once you do that, I can just go on one of the untitled artwork, for example, this. Then you can go like whatever, and you can add. Yeah, so if you add like another photo, like insert a photo, for example, this, I'm going to do this. And see, it could still, like, it could still remember it. This thing is awesome. So you can do like a lot of stuff with iPad Pro. See, it's still remembering it. It's fast enough so I could do uh, many stuff at the same time. So guys, I'm also going to test how fast it opens up. So right now I'm going to test Rec. Where's Rec? Okay, there. It's loading. See, that was pretty quick. So now we're going to go into Chameleon Run. Let's see. I can't believe this iPad makes your apps like load very quick. Now, look at that! It just loaded again really fast. Now we're gonna go on, I think it was, yeah. This app right here, Beak Maker Go. Oh my god, that opened in four seconds. Oh, wow. Not even, that was like one second. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> So guys, let's tr let's try War Dragons. Where's War Dragons? Two seconds! Oh my gosh! So as you can see, this uh, this iPad can load um I this thing very fast. Wow! 
I can't believe it. Cause now I'm going to play puck. I mean, I'm not going to play, but. Okay, that one I was not sure about if it's long or not. It was kind of fast, but not really. So as you can see, it, like the app was no iFi can load in one second, but in the other apps it can load in like four or like 10 seconds, I'm not sure. But guys, it's so fast, I can't even believe it. But if it's like in sophisticated games, it's gonna open way faster than the previous generation. Okay, so I just turned off the iPad. Let's see how, how fast it turns on. So guys, that took around like 25 seconds. It was not too fast, but it was, yeah, it's not too bad. So now we're gonna do the back facing camera test for 12 megapixels. It's still good, but once you add more light, then it's gonna be better. So I have like a little noise. Now I'm gonna go lower at the tripod. See, you can still still do see the um, tripod really good as well. So the quality for this camera is also is as almost same as iPhone 7. Okay, so now we're gonna do the volume test. This is not the loudest song in the world, but it's okay. Okay, one second. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, it was really loud. Like, that was not the loudest song, but it was still really loud, guys. Look, for me personally, this iPad is huge. Let me show you. So I got my iPad, and if I do this, I can almost fit two screens at once. So it's also like very huge. And like, I bet in like five years from now, I can I can hold it, but now I'm like, I'm holding a gallon of water. It looks like a gallon of water, guys. I wish I had this for music and watching videos, but look, once I like play a game, it looks like I'm like riding an airplane. I'm, I'm sorry, but like it literally it looks like i'm driving an airplane guys anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and by the way don't forget to check next week because next week we're going to compare ipad air 2 compared to a uh, ipad pro we're gonna do a lot of stuff anyways guys like this video smash the like button and guys see you next time peace